how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic. So today's video is a top five cozy mystery uh, for beginners video. So I did one like this about a year, year and a half ago. Um, I'll pop it down below. But I thought that I would do sort of a revamped one with a little bit more planning. I have five cozy mysteries that range from magic and baking, um, flowers, regular baking, one regular magic, and one thrift DIY. So if you love any of those things, then continue watching. So I was thinking about all of the different types of cozies that we have. We have so many different themes within cozies. We've got coffee, book, librarian, magic, uh, cats, animals, pets. Um, I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. So I thought, why don't I take my favorite type of cozy mysteries to read and sort of create a beginning um, sort of video for it. So. The very first one that I have is the Magical Bakery Mystery Series by Bailey Cates. This is Brownies and Broomsticks. I have talked about this book so many times. I love this book. It includes recipes. This is all about Katie Lightfoot and she's starting over in Savannah and she is opening up a bakery with her aunt and her uncle. She soon finds out that she has a magical ability with herbs and being able to cook and sort of put magic into what she's baking. And I love um, the fact that this series also has a mystery within a mystery about Katie Lightfoot's powers. And there's also a love triangle between her, a firefighter, and this um, handsome journalist who um, also seems to have a little bit of magic ability as well. And I just, I really, really love this series. If you like magic and baking all mixed into one, you need to check out this series. The next one I have is all about flowers, and I couldn't not add in Marigolds and Murder. This is by London Lovett. This is the Port Danby series, and the main character's name is Lacey Pink Pinkerton, and she left the perfume aesthetics world where she was creating um, designer perfumes and opened up her own flower shop, and her nose it has, um, has a special ability to be able to pick up all different kinds of scents. I think it's called hyper um, somia or hyper something, but it's where her nose is extra heightened. Um, she has a heightened sense of smell that proves to be of use once again when a Port Danby neighbor turns up dead. And she sort of gets herself in a love triangle as well, but I don't wanna spoil anything, but you guys need to go and pick this up if you love nature and you love um, small town um, type of books. I, I love, love, love this series so much. Go pick it up. The next one I have is another baking one, and we and I'm going to talk about Pancakes and Corpses by Agatha Frost. Now, I also wanted to make sure that I did a mixture of um, books that you can get really inexpensively on Kindle, which is Port Danby series and Agatha Frost series versus traditional um, cozies that are they are also on um, Kindle, but they are also on paperback, and you can get paperback of the. Um, of Agatha Frost's and London Lovett's, but I'm just making sure that I pick like a plethora of like both the different sides, you know what I mean? So the Pyridel Cafe Mystery series revolves around Julia and she has her own um, shop in Pyridel and she finds herself dating the local um, PI, the local, not private investigator, but he's sort of like the local uh, detective, the main detective, at least at the beginning of the series. There's 18 in the series so far. They're really quick, they're really easy to read, and they're just really, really fun, like weekend reads. And so I, I love it, and I love the the food that Julia makes and everything, it's just so, so good. Um, 
The next one I have is Pure Magic, and um, this is Which Way to Spellbinder Bay by Sam Short. I've recently fallen in love with Sam Short's writing. He is a wonderful cozy mystery author, and um, he does his travels and really makes sure that he knows what the place looks like and where it's based off of and everything like that. And this follows a, um, a young witch who didn't know she was a witch, and sort of her her journey to come to terms with who she is, what her family is, um, the past behind her mother, finding family, and uh, little magical murders along the way. I mean, what's not to love about that, right? So you need to go and check out the um, Which Way to Spellbinder Bay mystery series. And last but not least is a thrift sort of DIY kind of cozy, and that is the Whole Cat and Caboodle by Sophie Ryan. This is the uh, Second Chance Cat Mystery Series, so we've got sort of like cats mixed in as well as um, thrifting and DIYing, and I am really, really enjoying it so far. I have read the, the first one, which was a Cozy Mystery Book Club book, and so we've got a live stream. It's either on, I think it's on Angela's channel. Um, you can go and check her out and what we thought of the book after you've read it, but it's a whole entire series, and it's just really, really cute. I love that they, she talks about different ways to fix things, but she also, it's, it's really, really fun. If you love like saucy, spicy kind of, um, uh, like protagonists and older ladies, you'll love this series as well. So that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. What did you guys think about the Cozy Mystery for Beginners revamp? Let me know what you thought. Maybe um, another one that you would like to see. Maybe some themes that you would like to see that I could recommend. Let me know down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading.